Welcome back to Jesse Junction. I'm your host, MC Jesse. And of course, you want to see your favorite personality on Jesse Junction, please text the number 23026, beginning with the word Jesse. Nantawa later. And now, I've received amazing and so many texts. Okiniambia, Jesse, tulete wale watoto wako themu likuwa nao. Tulikuwa nao api. But, mwesema ni kulete hawa watoto wako them. And they are here. Wonderful, beautiful children wa Esther Akoth. Akoth. Hey, Ru Baby and Shailan Okelo. Karibuni kwenye Jesse Junction. Thank you, Jesse. Do people know that you are a director of Akoth Safaris and also a marketing executive? for pep tank yeah? at 23 what yes. you mm. they know that i'm a director uh -huh. uh, they don't know that i'm a marketing and sales executive at mm -hmm. pep tank so that's a new title that i acquired two months ago wow yes ukiwa karibu ku graduate when yes ukiwa karibu graduate congratulations thank you also on your graduation yes you saw my ceo was there right yes saying how i did tremendous work yes na kakusifu yeah so sayo ame ku employ permanently kwisha yes lucky you very wow very wow baby that's after you know yeah. they always say your network is as good as your your worth is as good yeah. as your network yes right so I decided to step out of my comfort zone. Being a director was not just enough for me. I needed mm. something more, something yes. more challenging. Uh -huh. So I decided Peptang was the place for me. Wow. And the live with a rude baby. Sisi na sisi wa sami tu kwa. Si tu survive. But congratulations on launching Rue Baby Collections. Yes. You are a supermodel. And also the face of Nivea still. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Still a young girl and still in school. You're in school, Bado. Yeah, I'm finishing in a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? International relations. We will. I try. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're in finance. Yes. Now international relations. You're in the finance. You're in the finance. You're in the So I can have relations. This mm. one attacker, international Sub -sub. relations. Yes. Wow, that is great. But you guys, welcome so much to Jesse Junction. Thank, Thank you. you. It's an honor. Uh, I, I got a lot of SMSs while we were in Yambia. Ebu Jesse to let you to work out there. What be? How it feels? Kukua watu yu akote. Karibu ni wajibu, lakini kasema, let me call you mseb. Wona jo how it feels. Hey, I have an idea. What do you think? I think, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. So um, what, what do, do people really, really identify uh, you with your mother when, they, when you're walking uh, in the streets or when you're, you're in school? Do people identify you with your mom or when you treat in a special way or in a particular manner because you're of your mother? It depends on the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, some occasions they'll just treat you as you, Rubaby or Vashashalan, but most of them it's just Akode's daughter, Rubaby, Akode's daughter, Vashashalan, like that, like that. So we can't, we can't escape from that name. Eko, Eko, Hatwezi, you know. So you said, when you literally introduced, you said, Akode's daughter, Rubaby, Vashashalan. Yeah. Yes. So most of the time, actually almost all the time, mm -hmm. it always has to be a Kodes daughter's first. Mm. Do you feel pressure? Like now you work at, a, at an organization, at a company. Do you feel pressure? Say, look, Kwapo, that one, I say, ah, my mom, Akode, is a super achiever. You know your mom is a super achiever? Yes. Because being uh, a single mom and achieving all what she has achieved with you guys, that's a super mom. I came there and saw you during your graduation, and I think she has done amazingly well with her children. Being her child, working in an organization, do you feel the pressure that umetoka kwa mzazi ame overperform? We unapatanga the pressure ya overdo things pia wewe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, they say like mother, like daughter. Yes. So the fact that my mom has overperformed, and everybody knows uh she's a performer she will give you results so that gives me a lot of pressure because i need to show them i am just as good or even better so for me i really work hard so that i can show i am actually better that she taught me well that i can you know take over 
and be responsible and give even better results. Mm -hmm. So hiyo pressure iko kabisa. Cuz pia ukiwa lazy utasema ai nafanya mama yake anafanya kazi. Mbona yako hivyo? So the pressure is there. Keep up with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Hey ru baby. Uko uko into let me call it entertainment because modeling yeah. and fashion is still entertainment. entertainment it is. And your mother ako kwa entertainment mm -hmm. pia. Ai super entertainer. <laughs> Eh? So uh -huh. upata hiyo pressure pia ku keep up to to the standards that your mama ameweka. Eh sana, you know I don't think there's any child who want to be a disgrace to the family ama someone who can't keep up cuz already here yeah, kwa entertainment industry in even a bigger way yes. than I am. <laughs> so hata mimi I'll do the one wants to be greater than wherever she is right now. So your pressure iko. So Everybody wants to see atafika wapi mama yake ako hapa yeye atafika wapi yeah. yeah so that pressure has to be there and then there's one thing everybody keeps telling us mm -hmm. your mom has done it so you better do it better so there's that it comes with that also because mm -hmm. everyone's like mama ako ako hapa your mom has brought you guys this far where are you guys going to take this empire next mm -hmm. Because you, I, I understand, uh, like, like you are saying, you cannot run away from, from a the court name. there. Yeah. Because this is your mom, by the way, yeah. and she's not going anywhere. Sure. You don't have any other mother. This is your mom. People love her the same way when I, when I, when I receive the industry and all that. Na hiyo lazima mtaifil. When it comes to love, lazima mtaifil. So, on the other end, when it comes to... Uh, the dream, uh, how she she has actually raised you people. Are you a result of chenye anafanyanga nyumbani? Ama you are a result of, of what munaonanga kifanya kwa, kwa media? And then in our shape, like, yeye wafunza nyumbani, ama munaona vile anafanya kwa social media, then you are forced to behave in a certain way. Because Vesha we una adabu sana. What are you trying to say? Naru baby uko na adabu zaidi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Never am going to say you. No, you guys are very well behaved. So, I also wonder. Muli, ni kufunzo mefunzo na mama. Eni waramu na muna mua. Onanga comedia denu muna mua. Let me behave. Unjo wa tumeanza kumona comedia juzi juzi. So, we can't say. We've learned from her. From her through the media. No, we've learned from her. From New Bani. Yeah, there are some things she doesn't put on the media you guys don't see. Now, there is where the real learning takes place. Mm. There's a lot of um, disciplinary measures being taken behind those cameras that people don't get to see. <laughs> but there she's us. My mom is very, very strict. Kuna vitu, kuna mshizizina haizi kubali. Yes, tutazifanya social media, but kufika New Bani, that face changes. It now she becomes apparent. Na hapo ndo tumepata our discipline na adabu zetu. How has it been growing up kwa hiyo nyumba? Hame Hame kuanga hivi juu. Sila na ingia kwa social media, cameras ye kwa action. Hey, call the police! Ivo ni anakuanga. Yes. Ivo ni anakuanga. Yes. Exactly. Alikuwa so kutoka zamani ya ma... Kutoka zamani? My mom has always loved the camera since... Since kitambo. Since yeah, before the same. Yeah, before the same. Kutoka zamani. The same. Actually, she was actually one of the... The most famous, no, the most known. Our to kwa kwaya, ngoja kwanza. Kulikuwa na kwaya. Ah. SD kwaya. Yes. She used to be a soloist. Ah? Yeah. She was a soloist. Kwa kwa kwaya. Eh. Yeah. She was a soloist, very famous. Huh? Eh? Mm. Like so one hour, my Jesse. No, yeah. Then I SD. Then I SD. Eh. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Ata pale kwa kumach. No SD is we match. Hmm. Yes. She was one who was leading. Very good, very presentable. So, you know, you can lele bado, na you kuruka ruka bado. She was famous even back then. So, it's always, limelight is not kitu ime mshtua ikamfanya, ka change the person she is. She's always been that accord that we see. And a very strict mother and a disciplinarian. Ame, why you are chapa nini when growing up, like our tengeneza? Ama taongea tu. Yeah. Ana japa. Yes. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just Ana like japa this. kuchapa <laughs> we. Hey. Let me just Haone <laughs> uruma. <laughs> Utachoma tutaenda kutafa nyumbani. Oh, just oh. drink your juice please. <laughs> Let me just relax. Eh? Haone uruma? Mhm. Kati yenu wawili nani ndiye uchapwa sana? 
<laughs> I got the most beatings, by the way. Why? You know, there's something with African parents. Mm -hmm. Dion does a mistake, and I'm the one who's beaten for the mistake. At you look what you Yeah, yeah. I'm like she's boy. she's she's a person of her own, Cindy. No, yeah. but you can, the first you can suffer for your own mistakes. <laughs> no, but so it's yeah. so <laughs> unfortunate that first born to know kichapoya, every other sibling. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa kerere ya kutoka mgetulia. Kunanga vibaya. That's all I have to say. I've taken all the beatings on your behalf. That's all I have to say. I've taken all the beatings on your behalf. Poor lebas. Can you say? Apologize nicely. Poor lebas. Na Dion, mbaka na kuita Dion, jia kukujua hivu. Rue baby, you are the second born. And then there is a... Then there is a girl after me. Uh, fancy Makadia. Yeah, Fancy Makadia. And then, the then there's a boy, Ojoang. Ojoang. Then there's a boy, Oyo. Oyo. Yeah, and then there's maybe another one on the way. <laughs> 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 Can you guys talk to me? Maybe. Me. I said maybe. I don't know. <laughs> These women are not to be trusted. Dion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who do you think among the two of you is going to take, uh, like, the to take up? what your mother is like who who will be the next accord between the two of you another ni nani atakuwa the next accord no actually me it's her wewe hey, wewe yeah unajua unaongea kama yeye oh thank you guys <laughs> <laughs> it's god given talent to the family <laughs> yeah we thank god me because i i, I think when you munasemanga i'm loud Jumpy, but you guys don't know me. Mm -hmm. I'm also calm. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. this e, I, yeah. you're very calm. Mm. Yes, you see, you I'm yeah. very young. Ni mchokozi kwa nyumba. Kabisa. Huh? John is a mchokozi. Na yeye usumbu wa mam. Wa? By the way, in the up amongst the three girls, mm -hmm. Dion is the the biggest headache. Since if I'm you saying, look at I'm me, do I look all like the love? <laughs> Honestly, Jesse, just look at me. <laughs> See, you can't prove your point. It's okay. I have videos. I can share them with Jesse. Uh, we are not being personal here. Yeah. What do you say? Your mom has a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. You are patia. Yeah. Apana. Ana fanya her part as any other normal parents. After that, ana kuambia pia we we jitapatia. Kuwa somesha tu. Yeah. So I'm not going to I'm not going to you. See, you're all working. <laughs> see, you're <laughs> <and> CEO. <laughs> you're the CEO of the collection. Okay, true. Okay, see, I'm a mom. Pesa ni amzazi, pesa si yetu. So, yeah, I was spoiling in a do. No. <laughs> On very rare occasions, let's say... Graduation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Birthdays. The rare occasions. No, just mm -hmm. graduations. That is what you got. <laughs> Birthdays also. She stopped. Oh, we're talking about once you turn 18, your birthday is done. Zinaishi apo, ujipange sasa. Lakini graduation sa hindi yoyo. Yeah, I saw it, the one she did for you at Kempeski. Yes. Oh my, my, my. It was grand. White. It was grand. Kariba, biliona kitatosha jama mungine apo wana viatu za white. I said all white. What is this? Wuna joni lirudi mimi. Kuva viatu za white. Are you serious? Hey. Ulizikia kwa mlango kwa piga bautan. Yeah. Ati wewe, what is this? Na ni viatu. Hikuwa mevaa vizuri white. Kiatu tu. Na siya tia hikuwa ya white. Hikuwa ya dark white. Cream. So cream, eh. Kamba, this is not white. Arudia chapte ingine. It's the class. So growing up with this kind of a mom, na muna mwona kwa social media, kuna watu watamsema hivi, Arudia, tuka nane. What comes into your mind wakati una mwona haki? Hamefanya hivyo kwa social media, hameenda mevaa bikini, hame dance. I think for me, what comes to my mind is that you need to learn how to live your life mm -hmm. without letting other people's opinion dictate when and why and how mm -hmm. you actually do your things. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. You are the one responsible for it. So when she's dancing on social media in her bikini, I mean, the enjoyment came. So why should she not, you know? So it's her life. It's her responsibility. And as long as it seems right to her, Mm -hmm. Then I don't think anyone should question that. Mm -hmm. Me makes me feel good. 
<laughs> when I see her wearing a bikini and then they say that she's naked, it makes me feel good because she it's what has taught me to have the confidence I have. I can also walk in a bikini and whatever they say because it didn't break my mother, I know. And I'm Mimi, so it makes me feel very in fact I want her to wear that more. It makes me feel very happy. She's my biggest role model. I take her and say, Oh, where's your role model? I'll do the chocolate. I'm doing yam do see not to bamba. Because you have become this supermodel because of the same. Yeah, because of the confidence that she made me have through the way her actions is of which is what I couldn't be that confident about my body. Kama hainge kwa through yeah. Because mm. we've also been told that unakulanga every time someone meets you, guy, ni wewe. Unakulanga, why are you like this? You know, mm. there's also that body shaming for guys who are tiny. Mm -hmm. But my mom has showed us, you know what? It's your body. It's you your can body. rock you it. Love it. Love it, show it off. It's yours. What do you have to be ashamed of? Mm -hmm. Because either way, if you grow fat, they'll still say, Hey, I'm a nona sana. When I'm a <laughs> dieting, they are rich. They don't have. They can't afford to get someone to put them on diet to get. I'm to prove that you can embrace whatever you have. It is yours. Love it. Yes. Walk head high. Embrace it. So she is your biggest role model. Yes. Definitely. So yes. There's a difference between the act that we see uh, on social media or on TV and the one at home. Mm. Kidogo tu. <laughs> Kidogo tu. Oh, tabia ni zile zile. Tabia ni zile zile. Like, na ni mkali hivu hivu. Na ni mkali hivu yeah. hivu. Now, mm. does that cyber bullying, sometimes because I've seen people, wana mwambia hivi, anajibu hivi, ama uh, they come to your pages and attack you mm. because of, of my your mama. Yeah. So, has it affected you in any way? Kitambo me it used to. Mm -hmm. Early 2017. It used to really affect me because when I was a first year, then I ended up everybody's looking at you. They've abused your mother on, on Facebook everywhere. She's trending. Kitambo, it used to affect me. But then later on, I figured out, and yeah, all these people who are hating, they have nothing better to do. So nowadays, it totally doesn't affect me. Totally. <coughs> I'd wake up and find headlines. I could then walk naked. I'm like, wow, finally, another headline. And I'll just move on. Nowadays it doesn't attack you dogo now. Uh, you just you una, una get to a point to answer ku ignore kwa sababu there's nothing that you can change about what they want to say and they can never stop talking. Na pia kingele mwenye ameandika hapa ti you ugly your mother is working naked. Pia kumangaza tu hapo vizuri kwa Facebook. Mko tu your same line. <laughs> no, hata mko the same. I'm mko the same level. Ana Ako tu mahali, ako tu. Ako tu. Ako tu. Ako tu kivyake. Ako tu. Si wanda ke personal. So <laughs> Unaelewa tu. So at times the, you don't let things get to you. Personally I don't think we let things get we to don't. you. Don't. At times when they used to we'd call my mom <coughs> like me at times when I used to get trolled when I started modeling and then I'd call her ni mwambie oh mom wamesema nimekonda ni nini nini <laughs> and then she'd give me advice and make me feel better. You're beautiful than all those idiots. You're you're very smart than all those. In fact you're not thin. You are slim. See? It built me up. So anything, any like me, there's nothing someone can say about me on social media that will get to me. Oh, you're black, I love it. You're thin, I'd even go thinner. You're, you're what, <laughs> it's fine. You know, you don't know my life. <coughs> you, you're there, you're suffering. Mm. <laughs> Who's hurting? You're following me, I'm not following you. I don't know you, so, yeah. It happens to you too. Yes. I think Hello. also for me, in my first year in Strathmore, when I came to school and we were trending, we were trending. I think that was the first time someone said, "Ako, these kids are very ugly," and my mom didn't let them be. Aki Jesse, she gave them a piece of her mind properly, and it made me realize, you know what? These people, it, it doesn't matter what they have to say about you. What matters is what you think about yourself, and what your mom can actually how ca how your mom and your family makes you feel. That's very very important. Because when you went back home, my mom was like. Does this know what they're talking about? Look at my uterus. Look. Mom, I'm going to turn around. Now you feel good. Say, yes, I'm beautiful. So. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. I'm very she beautiful. I Thank you. Me. Uh, we are you very. Are <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So you guys are so beautiful. <laughs> that's why people talk about you. Yes. That's, people, that's why people follow you. When you graduated, how many people are online? Hey. How many people? Watching you graduate. There were many. Na wakati watu wengine wana graduate waita majirani. Kuna wengine hawaendangi. Kuna 215. Okay. Yes. Na wengine wanaitwa graduation hawaendi. But you as they come. Yes. Online without invitation. Ako tu online. People enter. Wanna watch. Yeah, wanna watch. 
wanaji invite. Yeah. So you are very, very beautiful and important children. Uh -huh. But now let me ask you, mm. you uh, talking about your upbringing, because uh, as I look at you here, you are very confident children. And this is amazing. It means your upbringing is, is solid. Like mm. when you bring up children that can speak for themselves, you know, as mame to ketiapa, we have a conversation. Now, say, this is who I am. People might say this, but do, this is who I am. It means you are bringing me strong son. Yeah. I try, I try. I'm a terrible. I'm a terrible. What can I do? See, right? I'm a terrible kiasi yake. And talking of that upbringing, before the fame came, she has gone through so much. Yeah. We were having a story the other day, and she told me, "Vile alikuwa na ngana, hana kitu, hana eni, ku make sure." She actually even said it when she was At the live graduation. during your graduation. So yeah. now what I'm asking is that upbringing, how was it that time growing up? Hakuna kitu. Na bado I'm sure mlikuwa mmekonda, si ndio? Liko tu wadi hivi. Eh ukweli bado tulikuwa tumekonda. Sasa tu sema ni pesa. I think I think for me also seeing my mom that that's why I, I I did finance cuz seeing her struggle like that now she's struggling to make ends meet. Bado mtu anamuibia kapesa hapa na pale lakini mtiangaja na hesabu. I really, really wanted to become a finance person so that I'm able to help her account for her money. Mta kijaribu kumkon, I can, I can protect her. Mwena na mwako anahasu lagi nasema, God, I can't wait to make it so that I help this mom of mine. So for me, that's, that's what I would see. Wake her waking up, being a taxi driver, trying to take us to school with the little that she had, just made me want to make it. And my sister also keeps saying that she wants to make it so hard in the modeling industry that we are able to tell my mom, thank you, by, be able by just taking care of her. Because it's seriously, by the way. It's seriously to see your mom struggle like that. She's not sleeping because she's trying to make ends meet because when she closes her eyes, all she thinks about is, what will my kids eat? How will my kids go to school? Nyumba itafungwa. So for me, that made me, all the time I keep feeling like I need to work extra hard, so hard, that I can protect her from the world and how cruel it can be sometimes. Kwa masiku zilikuwa ngumu wa kijisi. Hakukuwa na pesa, tukua tunateseka, but truly survive. <laughs> anyway, there were hard times, you know. Yeah. You are, you're, you're, you're in the village. Yeah, village. It was just hard times. You, you didn't live in the village? We didn't live in the village. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, you're in the village. Then we came to Mombasa, you know, then her small households. We never really saw what she was going through because yeah. she wouldn't show. Yeah, see, 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 we saw. Okay, we knew we were poor, right? We knew we were not living the best lives, but we didn't really see through. How unge mwana ati amekuja, amekati ni kwa nyumba, sasa melala nja three days, no. But you'd never see her at a, you'd see the hustle she's doing and I'm Kasubwe, she tengenezans her bafutas, she goes for a hustle, but I can't say we suffered, Ville. We didn't at least we had love, you know? <laughs> And a yeah. motherly support. You know, you know, parents when you match at what to our not when you're at a second, yeah, you met a second, you could for two sasa. She never showed us that side. It was hard, there were hard times, no nothing, no luxury, is of to sort of, but at least we are here now. So, yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. And she was a very wonderful woman and came to even believing in God. Akisav kwa 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 SDA yes. that time when mulikuwa mnangangana. Yes. Yeah, she has gone through so much. Ninyi mulikuwa toto sana mko mnajua. Yeah. So uh, did she uh, introduce you guys to the things of God, to trust in God so much? Ama yo muliamua ha! Sisi, twende out. <laughs> Kabum twelve. Imagine you've grown in a very strict SDA, SDA family. family. Mm -hmm. Remember my dad is a pastor. He's still a pastor. My mom was in the choir, almost becoming a church. Wale. Yeah, mm -hmm. we women leaders. Our Wale, women in the yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we've, our upbringing has been basically in SDA. the church. Because mm -hmm. my dad used to preach, then my mom and us and him. So you saw us sing on my graduation. Yeah. That's yes, how we so would yeah. come. After yeah. he has done his Preach, preaching, he calls his come. family. So we come, we sing. We were that SDA family. You know that you say, hey, the you, saw, you saw that pastor with his kids and wife. singing and his wife. Yes. So our playing has basically been in the church. Mm. Yes. 
you seem so close to your father because I saw him that day in Mefurayana Sana. Yeah. yeah. He's a great man, very yes. respectable man, and uh, a man who still fears God very, very much. He does. A and uh, uh, your mom, when she spoke, she actually told us uh, how she and your dad is no longer together. Mm -hmm. And you grew up together with him and uh, your mom, mm. right? So when they, they parted ways, did it affect you, your emotionally, your confidence, did it affect you that your mom and dad parting ways? Well, maybe you can go first if you want to talk about No, that. I was really young, so she can go first. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. they are really young. Uh -huh. um, it actually somehow affected me, yeah? Because I was the first born, and I was so used to seeing these people together. <laughs> then the fact that none of them was willing to explain. But also one thing I love about these two people is that they didn't, whatever made them separate, they didn't make us the issue. They still remained our parents. So I feel like somehow my mom really guided us through it. Yeah. Now the worst thing, Jess, is for your parents to divorce. I love they make the kids feel like you guys are the reason as to why we yeah. can't be together. But mm -hmm. they didn't do that. So my mom really guided us through it. And we realized that it's okay. In Isaiah, yeah, two people can get married and it ends, but it doesn't mean that they stop being your parents, you stop loving and respecting them. Yeah. So I think what she really showed us that despite the fact that me and your dad are no longer a team, it doesn't mean that he's not your father, it doesn't mean that I'm not your mom. And it's the same thing for my dad also. We, he said you have to maintain the respect. So then the, at the end of the day, Mzazi ni Mzazi. Yeah. Yeah, it really affected us. You know, I was young, I was like, you guys are so young. We were like in class four. Seven. I was oh. in class four. Sis. Class three. I was in class four. You were in class three. Do you know my class? <laughs> <laughs> Me, I was in class two. I was in, I was in <laughs> class two. Sis, you were younger than that. No, I was in class <laughs> four. Still in Anilana's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was hard. It was really... <laughs> it was hard. It was hard to take on just seeing only one parent, not seeing the other one. But then we got, me, I got to know, like, better and nili kuja kuja vizuri sana later when we're in Mombasa is that now that, that this guy is not going to be in your life. It's only your mom who is going to bogo with your mom and still feel the gap of the dad in his absence, yeah. Yeah. you know, in absentia. So, mm -hmm. a little affect, I'd say my small sister was affected the most because, mm -hmm. yeah, she was literally Daddy's very, girl. very young. Yeah. So, yeah, but we got to... Void, yeah, not, not having the manly figure in the family, but my mom was there as the man also, so it was okay. Do you miss that still? Because I know right now you have a relationship with your father mm -hmm. that is very good, Nam So uh, do you still feel that uh, that void that you're talking about, do you still feel even currently, and you, st you have a good relationship with your father? No, mm -hmm. I don't feel the void. Mm -hmm. It went. You know. <laughs> 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 you know, things happen for a reason, Pia. Nilizoya, Labda Saibero, Kungekwa Ivo Sawata Singe Kuapa, Atunge Kwa models. You know, an SDA family, you can't. Wa hey, the things if you I'm can't still do. in the same house with you my father, do. I wouldn't be wearing bikini there. Atta, it's too Atta short. earrings. So mm, Atta Atta earrings. We had not even pierced our ears at birth. <laughs> we are all shaved. We had all. <laughs> my dad used to make this joke. Kipaka, kipaka, the first time I wore a lipstick, uh -huh. he said, Hey, 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 <laughs> you see? So, uh, no. I can't say I feel the void. Yeah. We grew up with my mom, as my, my, my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, plus we saw other men entering her life. Uh, so I can't say I feel the fatherly void thing. It's, it's not there. So now I'm yeah. a rafiki. Yeah, we are friends to Lisameheana, Vitwa Zikuak, Poleni, Yoni Enyu. Life to Songe Kama Rafiki, well and good. Unami was as a Poleni. Eh, this is Poleni, I work when you come and die. Yeah. Nasa. Poleni. 
Haikwenda vile mlikuwa mnadai. Eh haikwenda mlikuwa mnadai. Saba koleni by trade na couple goals. So unacheki. So if aungekuwa model na we maybe haungekuwa business then would you be musician because i'm asking these questions because uh, your mom is such a big influence in you now saying that from what i'm seeing that. yeah and uh, thank god it's good influence you've mm -hmm. discovered yourself the best thing about even a young person is once they discover who they are they discover their purpose they start yes. living life yes. not very many young people have discovered who they are yeah. okay so you guys I've done well because you have already discovered who you are at the age of 22, 23. Now, is there any one of you who has been inspired uh, by your mom to be a musician like her? Ama ni oyo atakuja tushtu ya kue rapa. Eh? Eh, labda oyo ya kue rapa. Me, I don't think I can sing. She considers my boys to be horsey, but I think yeah. it's sexy, yeah. right? Yeah. Not to be trained to <laughs> sing. Just in my You sing off No, key. no, like, I'm a... Uh, ni, 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 it's, uh, uh, Sorry? Bono, where's the explain? Bono, I check. Yes, is it, is it horse or is it sexy? You see, your mom is my friend no. and she's watching <laughs> this. I can't see her <laughs> daughter's <laughs> no. Her sexy No, voice. the voice. The voice. Yeah. No, I think she has an amazing voice. Thank you. The voice is. The voice is amazing. Oh, yes. But can Thank you. You. Oh, you can sing, but you I can sing, sing, but I I, I you don't think I'd be. You don't prefer doing you sing it. I don't think I'd be a musician. Yeah. How she can sing, but SDS songs. I can sing all kinds of songs, because this woman, mm -hmm. sorry. Not quite, but OK, we can accept for three. Really? You're not but she can me? try. She can I try. I can sing, Jesse. Uh -huh. But I think I really love the business part. I think maybe if I'm to become as an artist, mm -hmm. maybe a gospel artist. Please I don't. don't you I don't do think sing. this. Or if I'm being secular, maybe I'll do. I'll do love songs. Uh -huh. Yes. So I, I do sing as Somebody a. Somebody is going to get married very soon. Eh? What? Unayona rube. Unayona mtu kiasi kuimba love song. Kumbe yendi angeitoa Celine Dion rube. So now. Now, now that you, so you are going to Uneza Iba. Yes, I can sing. Anzia is dear. Anzia apo kwanza. Anzia apo. Anzia is dear. Your mom started in church. That's why she's so successful when it comes to music. Let me ask you now. Umeayenda, are you dating? No. Are you dating? No. Is it your mom who told you to date and pack up your sawa? Ama mumempele kia kawambia. Hey, ni 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 mumeleta. Ama I call police. Eh? Ulisha mumempele kia. Ah, si wezi. Am I okay? I had my my first boyfriend. I introduced him to her. Then he broke my heart. Then I called her. I was crying. No, the way. First, first love is bad mm -hmm. when your heart is broken. Yes. I cried, Jesse. I couldn't sleep. Uh -huh. That thing you said, like, oh, I can't eat. I can't sleep. Yeah, I mean, that I was me. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Uh -huh. I could I was crying. So I called my mom and I said, Mom, he broke my heart. Then she said, Eh, no, you don't cry like that. Tomorrow I'm sending you money. I want you to go to Sankara. Wow. I want you to go to the spa. And you went alone. You go, you <laughs> swim, <laughs> go to the jacuzzi, go get a massage. And then after that, go for shopping. I did that the next day. I've never cried again. Huh? You cried? No. <laughs> I've never cried Alilia. again. Alilia. Al after shopping, Alilia. 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 After shopping. No. She cried. A, a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, but she, my mom was really helpful, you know. Uh. We talked. And I got over it. But then from then on, I was like, um, this thing, no, not now. I'm where not yet ready. Where we shall, we shall break your heart. No. Dion. Who my break at Yango? I love No, see, Jawai, Jesse. So you guys are amazing children. And your mother is an amazing mother. No Thank one could you. tell that Akothe, the one you see on TV and on social media, that actually is this strict mother at home raising such beautiful girls. <coughs> Thank you. And the boys that are not there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your efforts can be seen, especially supporting you through school. Yeah. And she herself did not go through school. the same, same school. 
and uh, becoming these people that you are discovering yourselves, let me tell you that's the best thing a young person can do. Yeah. But I wish you all the best. Thank, thank you. Your yeah, mom yeah. is uh, is an amazing mother. Thank you. So and I want to thank you so much for coming to Jesse Junction. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so so much. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. A cutlet on Jesse Junction. Wow! When I say a cutlet, I mean what I thought Beautiful children, beautiful story, wonderful upbringing by a wonderful, strong iron lady. Iron lady, a cutlet monyewe. Now, <laughs> I know at any time you can let her a cutlet. If you want me to bring their mother on Jesse Junction, then text her name, beginning with the name Jesse, on two three zero two six. Na atakuja kwa ni kodini. Allah, your wish is my command. And those children actually reminded me of one Sarajevo great parent. What he said, when you don't know where your children are in the house, switch off the internet, relax, and watch them magically appear. Thank you for watching Jesse Junction. I'm your host, MC Jesse. So far, so good.